Interviews at the QCon conference. My name is Stephen Chen. I'm the lead Java community manager, and I am joined by Brendan Gregg from Netflix. How are you doing, Brendan? Going great, thanks. So I was interested to talk to you a little bit about your talk at Java One. I believe it was on frame pointers. That's right. Which is a new feature in JDK 8, and you're going to have to enlighten me about this because I actually wasn't aware that we fixed this in a recent um, JDK 8 um, update. Yeah, it's. Uh, it's great to have it enabled and available in JDK 8 Update 60. It was put into Build 19. I was pretty excited to have it arrive. And it's a new JDK option. Uh, it's minus XX plus preserve frame pointer. Nice. And to, and to give you a bit of the background about it, when I, I joined Netflix over a year ago to work on performance uh, analysis, and we have tons of Java. and. I wanted to understand CPU usage completely and quickly. At Netflix, we have thousands of cloud instances, and they scale based often based on CPU demand. And mm -hmm. so as the Java applications are eating CPU, how much they consume quickly dictates how many instances we run and the cost. So if we're able to reduce the Java CPU resource usage by a small amount, we save money very quickly. And so being able to profile Java uh, effectively and completely is really important to Netflix. And there's lots of Java profilers out there, and, and, and we've been using lots and lots and lots. Yep, we, we make some of them as well. That's right, and, and they've been really useful in the past. But I was also interested in getting a system profiler to work. And the difference between a system profiler is it can see time not just inside Java, but also time when, you're, when the JVM is running itself when GC is running, like actually what the GC code is doing, the internals, yeah. system libraries, what the kernel is doing, and the TCP IP stack. So it's, it's really a system profiler fills in some of the gaps that the other profilers can't see. But the problem is system profilers can't understand Java context. And the reason they can't understand Java context is Java as a compiler optimization has on x86 has reused the frame pointer register, RBP, as a general purpose register. Oh. And so the upshot is if you run a system profiler and you've got Java on x86, you just can't see Java. So yeah. the stack traces are just broken. And so I started looking at uh, JDK to find out how we could fix this. Mm -hmm. And uh, I took open JDK and just as a prototype, I started hacking around. See, it's not a really a new problem in the industry. You might have heard of GCC's minus F no emit frame pointer option. And so it's 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 exact same thing. GCC reuses this register as a compiler optimization and that breaks profiling for many apps. Okay. But then you have an option to turn that behavior off. Yeah, in GCC we can turn that off, but we didn't have that option in the JDK. So we kind of wanted this uh, a similar option in the JDK just to help system profilers. Yeah. And so I, I hacked up a prototype in OpenJDK, and it worked. We started using that uh, for some critical profiling at Netflix. And then I shared it with the hotspot compiler engineers in the, on the mailing list. And uh, Oracle Engineering got involved, and they completely rewrote my patch and made it better <laughs> and made it parameterized so there's, you can now turn it on and off as you need to. Nice. And so it became the preserved frame pointer option, which is released in JDK 9 and JDK 8 update 60. And so one of the big things it means for Netflix is we, now there's, there's benefits for different types of profilers. So Java profilers, and, and there are lots out there, they, they can be very good at context and, and really yeah. understanding Java object allocation and other Java behaviors. System profilers are pretty good at understanding system code, the kernel, TCP IP, file systems. And to marry that with Java context is, is amazing. So I can see, what Java methods are causing, say, main memory to grow? What, why the res column in top is growing? Or what Java methods end up calling into TCP functions? Yep. And so Netflix, but the first thing we're doing, there's lots of exciting things that you can do with this option. The very first thing is coming up with CPU mixed mode flame graphs. And so flame graphs is a visualization I came up with a while ago. It's, it's actually pretty simple. It's just a way to show all profiled stack traces on the screen at once, proportionally, mm -hmm. so that you can quickly figure out where in your code CPU time is spent. And so we're rolling that out at Netflix, so we can now do uh, CPU flame graphs on our Java systems and understand 
uh, this. And then looking ahead, we'll do more things involving TCP IP, memory, uh, real-time leak detection, all sorts of really exciting topics that this makes possible. Cool, and that's a great example of collaboration with a third-party company, um, kind of making improvements with JDK via OpenJDK. So that's where you started with the OpenJDK code base. I started the OpenJDK. I, it, it was, uh, I, I was able to just hack it up myself, just, just as nice. a proof of concept. Posted the patch out there. I was surprised at how quickly it got into the Oracle official JDK. So we're pretty pleased. So um, I'm curious, do you guys, are you guys actually current at Netflix also on JDK releases? Or are you using JDK 8 in production? Yeah, we're, we're, we're been rolling out JDK 8 update 60. In fact, most mostly we should be JDK update 60 right now. Wow. So, so you guys are really bleeding edge on JDK updates. And it's been serving you well. So you can get updates on features. And I assume it's been fairly stable for you. Right. And, um, and th the Netflix architecture, we have lots of different microservices. And we push Java really hard in all sorts of different ways. Yeah. So each of the JDK updates often comes with small performance improvements, and we love to get those because it helps us reduce our cloud footprint slightly and, and save costs. So we do like to stay on top of the, the latest JDK. Cool. OK, well, it was great chatting with you, Brendan, here at the QCon conference. Great. Thanks, Steve. Um, we have one more interview coming up later. In about an hour, we're going to be chatting with Nitsen from um, Azul Systems. And you know, join us today and tomorrow for more interviews at nighthacking.com. So thank you, Brendan. Thank you. Okay, we're muted. And maybe the stream will shut off eventually. Fine. Yeah, it was good. Very good. And now you're you're free to focus on. <laughs>